you grew up doing a lot of fishing with your old man. Is he the one that got you in the wilderness? Yeah, fishing and hunting. I'd fake being sick when I was in elementary school, so he'd come pick me up and he'd bring the boat because he's like, hey, are you really sick or you just want to go fishing <laughs> in Washington uh, where I grew up? You can hunt big game as soon as you can pass the test. So I took the test when I was eight, no shot kidding. my first buck when I was nine. And I used to get buck fever so bad the joke wasn't like how many shells I'm going to bring on a hunt. It was how many boxes of shells because I would get really worked up. I was actually fishing with my old man and uh, we were fishing this the Swarovski rep and he asked if I was interested and just got phenomenal training from Swarovski learning optics. From the best, right? Yeah. Everything in the industry is changing. I mean, with the internet, you know, it's, it's so much easier to find research, but that's also been a negative because there's also, it's easier to find bad research. Make sure you do some fact checking. I get a lot of people that just think the higher the magnification, the better the optic, and that's definitely not the case. Right. So it's like a, a lower power with a bigger objective, you're going to gather better light. So something like a 10 by 56 is something that's probably going to get overlooked by a lot of western hunters because of the size you know you're only getting 10 power magnification but with a 56 millimeter objective you're going to gather so much more light that it's going to help you in those critical times when we see the most critters at the beginning and end of the day no matter what size bino you're using start glassing from a tripod and you'll be blown away at how much more you see it makes you go slower you know as you're on a, a tripod you can pick apart a hillside and then move to the next section you know you really yeah, cover that grid. entire grid where with you know when you're just glassing one people don't realize how much they shake so yep you're moving a lot and you're not picking up little things like an ear flick or a, an antler tip or whatever Subtle it is Subtle stuff. i mean that's yeah. the whole idea you got to get to that place and that that rhythm of the forest anyway mm -hmm. and that forces you to get there quicker yeah. in my opinion yep so i'm usually i've got 10s around my chest 15s on a tripod and then if i you know if i spot a bull or something that's way off uh, with the 15s or with my 10s and i want to get a better look then i'll pull out the spotter if you're ever you know questioning which one you should go with save your money and get the the better one because you won't be disappointed